Hi guys, today I wanted to shoot, do a little house tour for you. We moved in a week ago now, so you do have to look past everything because this is a project for us. We moved in because this house has got such great potential. So I'm gonna show you the now, and then I'm gonna tell you my plans, and I'm gonna show you the after and the during, of course, as well. So here goes. So you come in at the front door, which is very dark, as you can see. So what I have just done is gone down to Wix and I have bought some wood paint and I'm going to paint this a dove grey, which is so it will, I hope it will kind of brighten up the hallway. I mean, we are going to change this because um, our porch is going out a bit further eventually when the building work happens. So this door will change. But for now, I just wanted to add a bit of colour, a bit of, you know, brightness into the hallway and also this house really kind of smells. I'm not sure what it is. I've been lighting candles putting loads of like air sort of nice things, air fresheners, that's what they're called, around the house, but it doesn't seem to make any difference. So I'm hoping if I paint this, it will, the smell of the new paint will hopefully go into the house. So as you come into the front door, this is our hallway. So things have just kind of had to go in the places that they already are because um, we're not putting any more hooks up or anything like this. This is our lounge. Just gonna do a really quick kind of house tour with this one. So this is the painting my mum painted. That was the only, literally one of the only hooks in the house. So I put my mum's painting. And we've got this kind of nooky bit as well in here, which is what I've made kind of into the boys' playroom. And that beautiful serving hatch. So as you come out of the lounge, you'll see the staircase in front of us, but we're not going up that yet. I'm gonna take you into our kitchen. Now this kitchen is like from the 1930s. We have borrowed my um, old next door neighbor's little dining table and chairs, and it extends out. So there is where we have our meals every night. So this is our kitchen. This is our oven, okay? So I bought this because um, the lady who, who sold the house to us, she took um, the oven with her, but we didn't want to buy a new one because obviously we're having all building work done. So how cool is this, right? Two hobs on top and an oven. It heats up so quickly, it cooks food really quickly, and it was 60 pounds from Robert Dias. So back into the hallway, and we are now going upstairs. So as we go up the stairs, the first room is Rory's room. Again, this is all going to change once we have our building work. And you come out of Rory's room and you've got our delightful separate toilet and bath and basin. But look at this shower. So back into the hallway, we are now going into Jamie's room. So this is the smallest bedroom, but this as well is going to be changed and be made a lot bigger. Back into the hallway and this is our bedroom. So again, this is all going to be changed oh, and it's going to be made a lot bigger. That is the house tour. It is not a very big house at all, but our plan is to go out off the kitchen four meters and to go out in the ease to make Rory's bedroom and our bedroom bigger and then to take some room out of our bedroom to make Jamie's room bigger. I am now going to show you our garden, but bear in mind, this actually looks amazing. When we first moved in, the grass was up here over our heads. I've got a picture I'm gonna show you guys. And now it is looking really good. We've had loads of trees chopped down, loads of stumps cut out, so on Monday, the um, garden guys are coming and they are going to get a digger in, clear it all away and we're going to lay all new grass. So here is our garden. So 
I can see so much potential in this house. I hope you guys can too. I'm going to get the plans from the architect. He's busy drawing them at the moment. And I'm going to show you the before and what it's going to be like after. So you guys are going to see what it's going to be like. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. Keep watching for developments on the house and more interior design ideas. And I'm going to give you a little... I'm going to paint my door now and then I'll add it into this vlog so you can see what it looks like from dull and just brown to light and dark grey. Do you guys think of the door now it's been painted? Don't you think it like makes everything look so much brighter? I'm going to show you what it looks like now from the outside. I'm really pleased with it and it cost me £12.99. It was just the amount of a um, paint, you know, a tin pot. And uh, because I just used a bit of sandpaper, but I had some already. And paint brushes, which I had already as well. So £12.99, not bad for a, look, a new looking front door.